Hi, it's Ben Guyton here with the Hoffman Group, and uh, thank you again for taking just a minute to look over our video uh, email newsletter that we send out to you periodically. Today I want to address the question that uh, everyone always asks is, what's the future of real estate pricing right now? Well, there's really not an ironclad way to predict the real estate market and where prices are going to go, but there are a couple of ways that you can do that with some degree of certainty. Uh, one of the ways is that we always here in Myrtle Beach have what we consider our feeder markets, markets that typically the majority of buyers come from, and the, most of that area is in the Northeast, whether it be Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, uh, even North Carolina. But the feeder market uh, stability and how the job growth is going on in those feeder markets uh, is very instrumental in our real estate market here along the Grand Strand, whether that be people retiring from those jobs or people that are secure in their jobs enough to come down and buy a second home or a third home or fourth home, but a property here that they vacation in or maybe use as an investment. That's one of the main ways to do it. The other way uh, also to add to that information is to look at our indicator markets. Indicator markets are not typically markets where people come to the Grand Strand from to buy property, but they are markets that historically lead our market as far as the ups and downs of the cyclical nature of real estate. So a lot of those feeder markets may be in different areas of the United States, typically resort style uh, communities, southern Florida area, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Las Vegas, uh, areas of uh, California. Those would be our indicator markets and those markets tend to lead us either it be on an upswing in the market or a downswing in the market and those swings would be large swings not monthly swings but things that we see coming uh, or, or going so as an as a example of that in, uh, in in the upswing years 10 years ago when the market started going up uh, southern Florida just as one of those indicator markets started going up before our market and they actually started going down in 2007 when our market was still very, very strong here. Uh, we didn't start to fall here until 2008. So by looking at our feeder markets, the health and, and job growth and, and stability of the feeder markets and the indicator markets, the markets that historically lead us in and out of cycles, that's one of the ways that we can determine where the future of pricing is going to go in real estate. For more information on this, feel free to reach out to me anytime. Just wanted to convey a little bit of this information to you here. Feel free to email me anytime at ben at bengeiton.com. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day.